This is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. And hexagons are kind of trendy right now, so let's make a nice moving background made out of hexagons. Now you can see I'm in After Effects, got a new composition. This is gonna be a fairly quick tutorial. So let's start by creating a shape layer. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna, to, to the shape layer tool, I'm gonna change it to the polygon. I'm just going to draw a shape, doesn't matter the size, because I'm going to adjust the settings in the shape layer. So I'm going to come down, open up the poly star, switch this to six sides, change the rotation to 180 degrees, and let's bring the size down to 200, no, you know, let's go down to 100. So this is going to be the start of our hexagon. Now in order to uh, make the background we want to repeat it. So if you've ever used shape layers before then you might know how to do this. If not it's called the repeater and you can do lots of cool things with the repeater in a shape layer. So I'm going to come down click on the poly star, go down to add, I'm going to add a repeater and you can see it starts to repeat it. Let's go in and change some settings. So first off let's change the position 174 and I want these to be just barely barely touching. Let's try 173 and I'm gonna come in let's change the fill. Let's bring down the opacity and then let's bring the stroke so we can see make sure they're overlapped. Okay that looks good. Now the repeater is set at three copies and I'm gonna want more than that to fill the whole screen. So let's bring the copies up and then let's change the offset. So it fills the screen. Now, you, what's cool about the repeater is you can repeat the repeater and you can have two repeaters. So I'm gonna come in here and put in another repeater. And layer order matters in the shape layers. So it's going to do this first, then the second repeater, second. So let's come in here and we can see it's set at three copies. Um, but it's again, it's at position 100. We don't want that at position 100. So let's bring the position down. That needs to be at 150. And then over needs to be basically half of what we did on the other repeater, which was 173. So 173 divided by two. And that fills in the space. Now, just like the other one, we need to make more copies and change the offset. And there we have a nice background. Um, but let's do some more stuff because this is just kind of plain. It looks a little bit like a honeycomb or something right now. So let's go back in. And since this is all set with the repeater, I only have this one fill and this one stroke. So I can come back in and fill it in again. And when I do that, I can see I'm missing a little bit right there. So let's come into this first repeater. Remember the first repeater was horizontal. The second repeater went vertically. Let's add some more copies to fill the whole thing. Now I want to change this color to white and maybe bring the opacity down. You know what? I don't want to bring the opacity down here. What I want to do is in the repeater, one of the things we can do is we can change the opacity. So if I change my end opacity, you can see how cool that looks as it's kind of fades from white over to darker. Now let's mess around a little bit more. I said this is going to be a quick tutorial, but what I want to show you is in the stroke, if I come in and change the stroke width and the opacity, you can see kind of a cool pattern that it's making. Let me come in, let's go back to this repeater one and maybe make the start opacity a little bit less. Okay. <clears throat> so what I wanna do is I want to keyframe this stroke width. Let's start it at zero, keyframe that. I'm gonna move forward, let's go forward about 10 seconds. And as it grows, you can see this cool kind of pattern you know, there's different things. At this point, it looks like a bunch of cubes. And it almost goes on for forever, just creating these cool patterns. And let's move that forward. Now what I want to do is I'm going to just RAM preview this so we can see what it looks like. 
So here it is, and this is pretty cool looking. A lot of neat stuff going on. The only problem is it's just all gray and black and white. So how do we change this to make it a little more colorful? And here at the end it kind of is a little bit a little bit too much white. But again, this is 20 seconds long and you're probably not going to need it for that long. So let's add some color to this. And now to do this, I need to add a black solid behind this because we can see here if I turn on and off the transparency grid, there's not much to it. Now there's two ways I can do this, but probably the easiest way is to come into the shape layer, into the contents. I'm going to just draw another black rectangle. Right now it's white, but I can come in and change it to black. I just clicked up on the color up there. And let's bring this below the poly star. Now this is, now when I switch this on and off, you can see it doesn't matter because there's a black there. So let's add a couple of effects to this. First one being curves. Second one being Colorama. So let's turn off Colorama for now. And let's adjust the curves to this. Let's make it a lot more contrasty. Now with Colorama, what it does is it basically, and you can see how crazy that looks, is <clears throat> it's taking white to black and it's mapping these colors to it. So, and there's lots of presets here. That one looks pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like as it's going through. And I'm just adjusting this curve. I want, if I do a crazy curve, then it's gonna do some more interesting things. Let's look at some of these different presets in Colorama. Oh, that one's not very great. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, let's, let's take a RAM preview to this to see what it looks like in full speed. Now what we can do with this is use it as a background. So I'm going to grab some text. And let's center that. So hexagons are hot. And you can see that's kind of a cool background. A little bit psychedelic with a very geometric feel to it. So that's, so that's the tutorial. I told you it was going to be a pretty quick one. And there's lots of stuff you can do with this. You know, maybe even try doing some different shapes, not just hexagons, maybe triangles, maybe squares. You know, there's lots you can do. And the the fun thing was when I was expanding the stroke and it made these kind of these cool shapes going on. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you next time.